I said, we're not just cookies. We're cookie domination. We're moving into Springfield now, and as with everything, it's scale. It's about pivoting, and it's about scaling. So we've got our cookie cart slash trailer. We've got the drive through kiosk. We've got the indoor cookie kiosk. They're all brand extensions because the main thing we want to do is we want to become a, a supplier, a retail and a wholesale supplier of gourmet cookies and innovative flavors so that everyone across the nation can get them. That's a great vision. Yeah. That's a very detailed and specific vision. It's a That's sweet fantastic. One too. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like you had a, a vision eight years ago for yeah. what this would be. And has the course been sort of the straight and narrow, or have there been twists and turns along the way to where you are now? You know, my life is, I, I have seven children, and everything I do has a twist and a turn. I am an average person who decided to start this, this, this business. Um, on a dream. Hot Oven Cookies was an idea on a napkin. I didn't have any business acumen, any savvy, any knowledge. I didn't even know how to pitch it. I knew how to, I knew how to bake the cookies and talk about them, but I didn't know how to present it as a business. So I researched. It was, an, it was a six to eight year research period. And I tried every single cookie I can get my hands on. And then I researched nationally. I connected with cookie, cookie owners who would talk to me. Some of them wouldn't talk to me. And then when I finally got everything I needed to find, I said, this is it. And VVM came and it was like the puzzles kind of, um, it just all clicked. So if other entrepreneurs are watching this, yeah. do you have any advice, any words of wisdom from the trenches as it were? The ideas in our head often sound so much sweeter and so much more successful and shiny until you take them out and dump them, right? Um, it's okay to lay it out and have other people examine it because the people that are there at VVM and at Spark, they really do love us. And I've been so privileged to be at the receiving end of so many people just sewing into me. And, and then through VVM, there's connections. We, were, we went to something called Project Entrepreneur in New York, we were nominated through VVM. And we joined 200 of the top rising women businesses. I, I wouldn't have gotten that opportunity. And to be honest with you, I don't know that I would have had that courage without VVM. So you mentioned you're going to specialize in innovative cookie flavors, not your standard chocolate chip, right. uh, for instance. Talk to me about that, both where the inspiration came from and sure. where you see that leading. We have currently 115 flavors. That was based on my kids and their own ingenuity, right? They didn't want just a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, no. They wanted, you know, a, a chocolate chip cookie with pieces of brownie and marshmallows thrown in. Thinking about what my kids like. What would people like? And I'm starting to learn my consumer. And sharing the cookie love is not just about empowering people through a franchise or ownership of a shop. It's empowering the individual who needs that one or two seconds to just inhale the comfort that a fresh cookie that's made with love has to offer.